What's up, YouTube? This is True Raw for TV. So, all right, now we're in the aftermath. Everybody now has had time to reflect and, and think about the blockbuster news that, uh, that transpired today. That is James Harden uh, being traded to the Brooklyn Nets. Um, this has been a trade that's been speculated for quite some time. Ever since the uh, beginning of the season, or before the beginning of the season, when James Harden was having his problems with the Rockets organization, um, you know, breaking NBA protocol, uh, not attending practice, the whole shebang, you know what I'm saying? Um, it quieted down for a little bit, but it revved back up as of yesterday. We know what he said in that uh, post game press conference. He essentially pretty much quit on his team and said he wanted out. So he got his wish. Um, to me, Brooklyn lost some, some depth. Um, they're weak up front. Um, DeAndre Jordan uh, is not what he once was. And, um, you know, they, they, they've they taken some hits as far as, like I said, they're deaf. But you still have two league MVPs and one of the most, when his head is right, one of the most scintillating and exciting point guards in the NBA and Kyrie Irving. By definition, <clears throat> this is a super team. Due to the fact that James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving all are likely future Hall of Famers. Now, this is the thing, though. James Harden has to produce now, okay? I, you can't, he, I, no more can he, you know, well, with some of his, I remember back in his glory days. When I say glory days, I mean three years ago, two years ago. I remember a lot of people saying, well, look, James is doing it all by himself. He's getting double teamed, uh, blah, 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 blah. That's why sometimes he has these bad games. Well, you don't have to worry about that now. You're playing with the best pure scorer in the NBA in Kevin Durant and one of the great shot creators in Kyrie Irving. So it should be easier for you now if you choose to buy into this system and truly believe in the phrase, less is more. But the problem is, James Harden is one of the most ball-dominant players, not just in the NBA, but in the history of the NBA, one of the most ball-dominant players we've ever seen. Kyrie Irving is also very ball-dominant. Something has to give. To me, with Kyrie Irving being a superior ball handler and being the actual real point guard, James Harden's going to have to learn how to play off the ball more. Okay? It's just how it is. He's going to have to learn how to play like he did, revert to playing like how he did, um, maybe four or five plus years ago, um, you know, 2015, 2016, when he was averaging more like 28, 29, 30, 31 points a game. Um, ever since he's gotten this superb green light to shoot the ball 25, 30 times a night, yak up 15, 23s a night, um, when he gets it going, he can have nights where he's on fire. Of course, any player who's a shooter, you're gonna have nights where the shots where your shots are going in. You're gonna have these high scoring games, in particular against the worst teams in the NBA. But playing like that against the best teams, you're not gonna win like that. So yeah, it's on James Harden now to show that he's 
really committed to winning, right? If this is a guy really committed to winning, as he claims, he should be able to make adjustments. This isn't your team, okay? Houston was your team. Houston was your city. You're, this is not your city, all right? I also agree with something that, um, shout out to Town Biz. He, he did a live stream, and he mentioned this, all right? So shout out to Town Biz. The expectations for the Brooklyn Nets start now, okay? When LeBron James went to Miami, they were expected to make it to the NBA final, okay? And they did. They lost. Uh, LeBron James played very poor in the NBA Finals. He was roundly criticized for that. But at least they did make it out of the East and get to the NBA Finals. This team should be favored to make it to the NBA Finals. There should be no excuse for a poor James Harden performance or performances extended, uh, I should say, Poor performances for James Harden in the postseason. All right? Look, everybody has bad playoff games. That's not what I mean. But if you consistently see in games where they need him the most and he gives them his least, then that just goes to show you that it's more almost a psychological thing with this guy rather than anything else. Okay? And I don't want to ever hear anybody say that this guy has not had help. Okay, throughout his career, this is a guy that's played with Kevin Durant now twice in his career. He played with a prime Russell Westbrook and Russell Westbrook against so twice with Kevin Durant, twice with Russell Westbrook, played with a prime Serge Ibaka, played with Dwight Howard when he was closer to his prime. He played with Chris Paul. He's played with Carmelo Anthony. Now he's playing with Kyrie Irving. Everybody I've mentioned, with the exception of Serge Ibaka, is a bona fide first ballot Hall of Fame. So there should be no excuses for this team not making it out of the Eastern Conference. Now, I know Tyree Irving is a little bit of a question mark. Um, I think he should be okay. Uh, he's going through whatever he's going through. Apparently, the Nets are, are okay with what's going on. So, he should, you know what I'm saying, get through whatever he's getting through. Um, but, yeah. And also, this got to be said, too. All right, Kevin Durant. You left Golden State because there was this narrative that you only won titles on loaded teams. You were supposed to go to Brooklyn to show that you didn't need two other Hall of Fame level players on your team or a loaded team to win. Now, by chance, you know, or whatever, Maybe not so much by chance. Who knows? Once again, you have a super team. I mean, it might be unfair to bring up, but it's a, it's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people get on LeBron James for playing on teams that are stacked. So, I mean, shit. So, you know, these are just things that have to be brought up. Um, we have to see throughout this season, um, just how well Steve Nash can really coach. Uh, but there's a lot of things we got to see coming up, man. You know, they're not playing very well right now. They're only six and six. They're playing the New York Knicks tonight, I believe, uh, Brooklyn Nets. Uh, they should be favored to win that game. Um, but we'll see, man, what transpires throughout the season. It's still a young season. But they are right now the favorites to win um, in the Eastern Conference. So 
We'll see. Tell me what you guys think.